Welcome back to HRNHQ. I feel like it's been a while since we've been in the friendly confines here, but we're back. Sarah Obad, we had DeRosa and Flightline's back. Your pet. As uh, you explained the other night when I asked about if you had any pets. Yeah, I, I definitely gravitate toward the stars when it comes to pet horses. Well, I just thought that because he is so polarizing, maybe you saw yourself in him a little bit. You could relate to the yes. horse, and that's why you've chosen him as your pet. And really, the public's kind of a freak of nature, but in a good <laughs> way. Are you all in? Well, so that's the rub. <laughs> Even at one to five, I would have a... I, could not place a win bet at one to five. No, I feel the same way. I could at two to five. Okay. I would bet him to win at two to five. Well. The challenge is in our modern game is you could be staring at two to five going in the gate. Right. And then have one to five. Very unlikely, I think it would go the other way. You're not getting one to two. No. So yeah. it's probably going to be, unless the will pays clearly indicate he's on the higher end of two to five, I think I'm just going to have to watch. And I mean, I'd love to see him run well and validate what I've thought about him, I suppose. But then at the same time, I mean, every lengthy wins by less price on Breeders' Cup Day. A fair point, though I think some, if if we do see the matchup that many are anticipating, uh, one that I don't know that we'll necessarily see of him, and life is good in the Breeders' Cup Classic. Yeah. You just think that he'll just be an overwhelming favorite in there? I don't think life is good is going to the Classic. Oh. Now, Epicenter winning the Travers, as he did, was a positive, because okay. that hopefully will take some money. True. Uh, we have the Jockey Club Gold Cup. So, you know, if the Olympiad comes back there, a mile and a quarter race, that could pique some people's interest. But, you know, I I don't think there's any competition for him. Well, that was one of my main questions for you. Of, do you think that it's possible to make a wager in here that is somehow profitable? And I think that we both ultimately agree that a win bet on flight line at his morning line price yeah. is just something that seems out of the question, even though we both feel as though he is the most likely winner of this race, the price that you're taking for a horse in this six horse field, everybody else's price is going to be that much better. Right. I do like express train is the underneath al do you? alternative. Okay. Um, country grammar, I think will be the clear second choice. I agree. And I am a rag is in sheet devotee. <laughs> and Express Train has uh, run several races that are faster than Country Grammar's fastest race ever. Hmm. Gets the layoff. Uh, John Sheriff seems to have a real handle on this horse. So I, I do think, and I know some people that are taking the approach of, well, man, what a price you're going to get on Country Grammar because of flight line. Mm -hmm. And I get that. And if he's your alternative on the win end, couldn't talk you off. Totally understand. But as a flight linebacker, if I'm looking underneath, definitely don't want the second choice. I mean, I could see where that exact it could come back like even money. Yeah. Not exciting. So maybe express train is the alternative. Even then, though, I, I think all those are going to be light. Um, yeah, it's, it's leaning toward a watch for me, but Breeders' Cup clues at the very least. Sure. And I mean, it's OK as well to just watch and enjoy a race. <laughs> I know that that's not really the main focus of what we you know, explain to other people, yeah. obviously you're here to make some money and that's why you're bothering to hear our opinions, but it's okay to just watch and enjoy Absolutely. a race and pass and understand that this may not be the most profitable wagering venture of any race on the card. I think that the only way that I would go about placing a wager in this race is just a straight exacta and my horse to use underneath would actually be Royal ship uh, just because he also won't be the second choice that'll, right. that'll go to country grammar I want the horse that beat Country Grammar last time, though. Certainly you can come up with some reasons why that may have happened. Country Grammar coming back from the Dubai World Cup right. win. There's some reasons there to see that Country Grammar is the alternative. And I think you're also, if you are a Country Grammar backer, very excited about 4-1 to one on a dual grade one winner hmm. who has at least proven himself at, at the, the distance. distance. And I think that that is the main thing with Flightline. You're never supposed to take a short price on a horse that is trying something new for the first time, even if he is who he is and the pedigree suggests the distance won't be any problem. That's just kind of like a rule of 
gambling that you're not supposed to do that. It's not right. going to make you money long term. I would take two to five. I want to be clear on that. If anyone out there is listening and would like you're willing. some action, I would gladly place a bet at two to five. Uh, I mean, overall, I do agree. That's always a tough spot with the distance. Uh, he's just so much faster. And the, the pedigree clues and, you know, John Sadler's been here before. It just kind of all adds up to me that I'm, I'm not really too concerned about it. Country grammar in that uh, the, the loss to Royal Ship, I, I hate to compare to Arrogate, who was just on another level in terms of the races he ran. But he did come back from Dubai in the San Diego. And I actually wrote a piece back when I was with Brisnet that called Arrogate the most likely winner of a race in the history of thoroughbred racing and in going into the San Diego, like just that field and what he had done. I think I put his probability at like 96% and he didn't even hit the board. And then he came back in the Pacific classic was favored again, I believe and ran better, but lost to a stable mate. So that's kind of sticking in my head as, you know, maybe uh, just the way it works after Dubai, some come back great. Some don't, uh, anything but great is not going to be remotely good enough against flight line. So on the win end, I'm not concerned at all, but as you and I both sort of agree and discuss ending up on different horses, but that's the opportunity here. Right. I agree. So, so pretty line. straightforward. I, we didn't go through any of the other, I haven't looked admittedly either, uh, but you know, they get huge pools at Del Mar, none bigger than on Pacific classic day. I mean, there might be opportunities uh, in the pick five sure. with, uh, you know, the 50 cent minimum, uh, unfortunately not the low takeout on the late sequence, but, uh, you know, if you, if you like a couple 20, $30 horses, that's to me, single flight line, yeah. move along if that's your pick. And if you're, if you don't like flight line, great opportunity for you to play somebody else, Big time. anybody else. And a lot of times in the multi-race wagers, we see you know, I think there's times like a three to five horse will play like a one to five because they're just the most logical single. Mm -hmm. This is a case where at least, you know, one to five is one to five. So you're not you're not taking a hit by singling them. You're getting the price you would get in the wind pool or really any other pool. So going to look at the pick five, but it's very similar to the Pacific Classic itself. If it's not there, it's not there. Yeah. Well, I'm excited to watch. But we're here. Ron's there. He is. He's, he's hard at work. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Getting some, he, uh, he puts in the work. Inside information. I saw in our news channel that he had some exciting tours coming up. So uh, he's going to be getting the inside scoop, which you can find on our website, horseracingnation.com. You can also like and subscribe for future That's a great idea. <laughs> video content. Turn on notifications. 70% of our watchers aren't subscribers, and that is too high. Yeah, no. Hit that subscribe button. We have uh, some Virginia Derby content coming up. And you'll be there. And I'll be there. So. And we'll both be at the Breeders' Cup. Wow. That's wow. a lot going on. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Saratoga is ending, but there is a lot yeah, the, coming up. The baton gets passed. It certainly for sure. does. So are you going to Kentucky Downs this weekend? Saturday. All right. Mm -hmm. So we're all... We're all heading We're everywhere. to tracks, yeah, worldwide, not just the nation. I'm Ed, she's Sarah, Flight Line Saturday in the Pacific Classic. Good luck with however you choose to play it or not. Or just watch. Or just watch. Either way, enjoy it.